So in printmaking, you want your paper, when it's dry, is a little stiffer and the ink doesn't sit on it as well. Um, the ink actually that we're using is activated with water. So in general, you want to use damp paper when you're doing prints. Um, paper is made with by taking wood fibers or cloth fibers and putting them together um, with a glue and the glue is called sizing. So you're soaking actually paper to break down some of that glue, to break down the sizing. And that's what will end up making a really nice clean print. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the process both in the studio and how you can do this at home too because um, your setup is always a little bit different. So I've got dry paper here and I have a piece soaking. First of all, you need some kind of tray, a clean tray to soak your paper. And in printmaking, you always make sure everything is clean. Your hands are clean, wherever you're putting your paper is clean. So all this is, is just a tray that I put water in. Now, you might have a nice um, like baking pan or a cooking sheet that would work um, for holding water. And, and that's fine. I've even at home used my bathtub because my bathtub will fit bigger sheets of paper. So, so figure out a way to have paper that you can have your, um, or have water stored so you can soak your paper in it. You need to soak paper for at least five minutes. The heavier quality, um, higher quality papers, even more like 20 minutes is good. So it's a very simple process. You can have more than one soaking in here, but I'm just gonna put my paper in. Um, and kind of, I'm gonna just tap it down into that water. Um, sometimes it's good, you have to make sure you get water over the top of it. A lot of times I make sure they're not sort of stuck together. You can even put water on, that won't hurt. Um, I always just use cool water. Okay, so you're gonna let your paper kind of soak in there for five minutes. Now, just so we could continue, I've already had this one in here on the bottom has been soaking a good, actually about an hour. So I'll show you how you blot your paper so that you can actually print on it. You'd want to do this right at the last minute. So before I do this, I've got my registration handled. I even, you saw the registration marks on this one. I've got my registration all handled. I've got um, my plate all inked up and ready to go. So you're, when you're at that point of actually printing is when you're ready for this process. So it's been soaking. I'm going to pull out that soaked sheet. And if you turn it at an angle, the water will kind of run off. Just let as much as you can drip off and then you're going to blot it. So we're going to follow over here. I have a piece of paper here. So there's a couple ways you can blot. Um, this is just plain newsprint cheapy paper. That works just fine. Um, at home I've used a towel like a clean bath towel is fine. Um, you can buy actual nice blotter papers. They're more expensive, but of course they work really, really well. Um, this is what I tend to find works really well is just um, newsprint. So I have just clean, clean newsprint and I'm gonna carefully, I gotta make sure I don't wrinkle my paper. I'm gonna just kind of carefully fold this over. And actually I already folded it. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Set my paper down. This is where you have to be careful. If I wrinkle it in this process, the wrinkle will be there. So I want to be careful that I don't wrinkle the paper or get any kind of lines or cuts. And it's just a matter of sort of tapping and trying essentially to wring out your paper as much as you could, just like you'd wring out a washcloth. Only I can't obviously twist it, so I'm keeping it really flat and smooth. Now this is ready for printing. Um, if it's too wet, if you haven't blotted enough, and we'll see if the camera can pick this up. Um, if there's shiny spots, see how there's like some shininess here? It's too wet. So then just keep blotting until you get all that wetness pulled away. so much as contact. Once I've gotten all that moisture out, I should be able to kind of hold it to the light and see there aren't any shiny spots. 
Now it's just damp and it's really soft and malleable and ready to print. Um, if I am not gonna print right away, then it's gonna sit and dry out and it won't print as well. I'd have to put it back in the water. If you know somebody calls on the telephone and I have to stop, I might have to re-soak it, which is fine. It can be re-soaked. Um, you have to also be aware of your humidity in your house. If you're in a really dry house and it dries out, um, then it won't work as well either. Um, if you're in a studio that's kind of dry or overly humid, that impacts your paper. Um, so just be aware of, of how you're dealing and how you're working with it. Um, this can be reused as long as it's clean. Your blotter paper, your towel, all that can be reused. Um, your water tray can be reused. That's all definitely stuff you can keep using to soak your paper.